Hello to 619, and time now for What's Trending. A Canadian woman says she had a Cinderella moment when she went shopping for used roller skates. As fate would have it, she coincidentally came across her own skates that she parted way with 40 years earlier. Renee Forrestal hadn't laced up a pair of roller skates in more than 40 years. She wanted to try it again as a fun way to exercise, so she bought new skates last month. After a pair of skates didn't fit right, she found another pair in questionable condition. She was intrigued by the price, and when she went to uh, go try them on, felt that it was a perfect fit, and when she lifted up the tongue of the shoe, she saw her name in there. The, main, the man selling the skates, James Bond, says his heart was filled with joy watching Renee react as she reunited with her skates. As for Renee, she says that this is a sign that she should start skating again. You know, how about that? 40 years later, and you end up just getting your skates back. Yeah, I mean, literally, I mean, you get rid of them, and uh, I'm trying to figure out what she bought. I don't know if it mentioned in the story. She must have bought them at, like, a place like Goodwill or something, because they usually those places that repurposes it or something. Oh, no, it was, a, like, private seller. Oh, it was a private seller. Okay, yeah. so uh, it's kind of interesting how stuff kind of travels around over time, and uh, who knew how things circle around? It's a small world sometimes. It is weird. I've... I've never really bought or rebought something. Have you done that? Uh, I don't think I have. I, know, I can't say I have either. So. If, I know my dad's watching right now, so if he knows, let me know. But meanwhile, though, we got to keep going. We're short on time. And New Mexico students who were displaced by wildfires got a second chance at having a prom after the governor stepped in. About 75 juniors and seniors from Mora High School got dressed up for the event, which included crowning a prom king and queen. Governor Michelle Grisham said she was honored to host a party, saying the students deserve to celebrate the end of the school year and every milestone that comes with it. The, the Hermits uh, Peak and uh, Calf Canyon fires are the largest in the state's history. More than 312,000 acres have burned, resulting in school closures and evacuations of wildfires. We're 47% contained as of Friday evening, so finally some progress there, and finally the students can have a chance to dress up and uh, look cute in the situation and be able to enjoy some time together. Yeah, all politics aside, this is a great thing. Yes, Just this because, is. you know, a lot of seniors have that last dance. It's their last chance to look pretty and last chance to see their uh, friends. Um, mm. But if, and some people... In, I guess natural disaster kind of just took it away from them. So it's a great thing that the governor just stepped up and it helped him out a little bit mm. in this way. A small act of kindness, or in this case, a large act of kindness, as I call it, can go a long way. It really does, for sure. Well, taking a turn to our last story, uh, police in Colorado are searching for intruders who attempted to rob a house, but they were thwarted as the family arrived home thanks to an alert dog. The couple had just picked up their child from daycare. They returned home with their dog, Phoebe, who quickly noticed there was a stranger inside. Phoebe, who is normally not much of a barker, went to the back of the home and started to bark, and then they saw a man running from the house. The couple got away from the house and called 911. A few seconds later, the intruder ran out towards a waiting car, and one of the homeowners took pictures of the man, got in a stolen white Subaru. The vehicle got away, but was found after a crash a few blocks away, and the owners are grateful for Phoebe, as she may have just saved their life, saving them from the intruder. And how about that dog? Definitely a great dog right there. I know there's a few dogs that will uh, will be that alert guard dog, and then there's a few others that will, I guess, sarcastically help the uh, intruder steal stuff because they're just so friendly to everybody. I know all those dogs are friendly to everybody, though, but the best dog or those that are every man and woman's best friend and mm -hmm. uh, can obviously love them and obviously protect what, belong, what, what matters to them. In this case, uh, what's also known as a doggy's home. So um, obviously uh, it was great to see um, great scare that intruder off and of course in a stolen vehicle. What else, yeah. right? And yeah. then of course crashed. Yeah, I got a quick little story. Uh, my old dog Sandy, I mentioned her a few times. Sure. There was a um, cat that got under the deck many years ago and she was just walking outside and then she uh, I was watching her behavior as she looked underneath the deck. She saw something was not right, and then she just started barking at the cat that was underneath. <laughs> and then she started bark looking at me, who was like inside, outside the window. And uh, she started barking at me, like, "Hey, something's not right here. Fix it." <laughs> dogs know, although it's, in this case, it's a cat. Yeah. And obviously, sometimes dogs and cats just don't yeah, get along. For sure. Well,